All right, bravs, we're back with another pumpkin beer. Caramel Pumpkin Imperial Pumpkin Ale, 8.6 volume. Alcohol per volume. There he is. Looks like a butcher. Or is he a baker? Let's pour it. Let's pour it in. All foam. We got a tall cup, this cup, mug, not cup. Oh shit, it's going over. Oh, it's not. That's, that's fucking skill, buddy. It's actually dumb luck. Southern Tier Brewing Company, of course, Lakewood, New York. Nice fucking shoes. Best Buy 624 2026, which is roughly two years from now. Just heard a loud creaking. I don't know where the hell that came from. Ale brewed with natural flavor added. Pumpkin and natural flavor added. All right, it's dissipating, bruv. It's dissipating. Let's get it back up. Let's get it back up. As I've said in the previous review, I had one of these the other night, and didn't taste as good as last year, but could have been because it was fresh. Still got a little bit left in there. Very boozy smelling. Let's take a sip from the bottle, bruv. Yeah, very caramel. Very boozy. This tastes better than the other night. I also ate some pretzels beforehand to clean me palate. Let's get a little white mustache going here, bruv. A little Gordy Howe for you. Yeah. It's the real deal, bruv. <clears throat> I do believe this is better than pumpkin just because it has the added caramel affect. Last year, the stuff came and went. Is that an Israel star on there? It almost looks like an Israeli star, doesn't it? I don't think it's supposed to be. Maybe it is. <laughs> That would be a twist. I think it's just supposed to be a sunburst. Yeah, last year this came and went, and I only got one full pack, and I looked for more, but couldn't find it. So this time I bought two, two full packs. I don't know if it was the pumpkin that I had last night or a different beer, but it had a lot of, seemed to have a lot of carbonation. This one seems, obviously it's not flat, but it has a flatter taste than the, than I believe the standard pumpkin had, but I don't, I don't know, maybe it was a different beer. Yeah, it's not a flat taste. It's just not as carbonated. Yeah, this one's really good. Mm. 
no pumpkin flavor at all that I can taste. I mean, there's a slight tack of sweetness to it, but the caramel is overriding. Zero pumpkin, not even really the graham cracker-esque taste to it. Just caramel upon caramel and bourbon infused boozy alcohol. What's that say? Rule on. Does that say caramel? It's hard to tell the bees in the way. I think it says rule on caramel. That's a brilliant phrase. Even though I think this is a better beer than uh, the pumpkin, I'm going to rate it lower as a pumpkin beer because it has no discernible pumpkin flavoring. A minor bready, minor bready taste, but yeah. So a better tasting beer, but a less pumpkin-esque beer. So I'm not sure what I rated the pumpkin, but I probably should have the computer next to me, but I don't, I don't. So whatever I rate it is what I rate it. Let's mix it up for one last swig, bruv. That's really nice. Nice. Kind of got a hot, hot affect to it as well. Hoppy caramel. I like it, bruv.